YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another Pickles video for you here. Um, some pretty interesting stuff. Very recently, there hasn't been a whole lot of stuff out there, but um, from what I'm able to to find, some pretty decent items, I think. So I'll get started on some of that almost immediately. The first thing you might notice if you um, have been paying attention to the wall behind me is down over in this corner here I've actually taken out the PS1 and Dreamcast stuff that was there because it was basically falling off that shelf. You can see above um, their Super Nintendo games. That shelf was really designed for the Super Nintendo and uh, you know Super Famicom, N64, stuff like that can go on there. So it wasn't really designed for those PlayStation cases and or PlayStation 1 cases and they were falling off of the shelf um, at the bottom just because the walls you know not perfect at the bottom and I think it had a little bit of like outward tilt and the discs, or not the like discs, but the cases were always like coming off and falling on the floor. When I'd take one out, the whole whole shelf of games would fall on the floor. And I was getting kind of sick of uh, having to deal with that. So I got a really good solution for that. I removed them from the shelf and I actually built um, another section to the shelf behind me, which I don't even know if I've shown um, this side of the room yet to you guys. So I'll flip the camera around so you can kind of get a view of that. So over on this side here, uh, you can see the Genesis stuff, that shelf's been there for a little while. But beside that, um, over here now, I'm trying to point at it with uh, looking at the camera, I should probably be looking at the items. But you can see like all there is the the PS1 stuff now, the Dreamcast stuff's there, and I actually moved the PS3 stuff down here, which I'm hoping you're able to see. Um, you can also see there's like a giant speaker, let me just turn here, a uh, really big speaker underneath that. Um, system that's right there but that big speaker there those are probably gonna go and this is a much better solution though as soon as I get rid of that big speaker for these games so that's kind of the idea behind it basically um, you can see another one of those speakers right there they're way too big for this room so what I'm gonna do is try to find some small speakers if you guys have any recommendations I don't want anything like super high-end or expensive um, just because it's not necessarily required for that, I know some people are like epic audio files, and I do like good sounding music and things like that, but I definitely uh, don't want to be spending you know, like 500 bucks on a pair of front speakers or something like that just to replace those guys. Those are my old ones from like the 90s. I've had them forever. Um, they're perfect working order. They're just not really fit for this room. So that's that though. Uh, the next part here, I'll get into my pickups. So the first thing I wanted to show you actually is a trade that I did uh, with a guy locally. Uh, Marco, which I've done trades with very recently, almost featured in just about every one of my videos now because we pretty much um, either see each other on a, almost every other day kind of basis in the shops or, you know, uh, he shows me things that he's got for trade and then I show him what I have available to him and he's mostly collecting like Super Nintendo, NES, um, N64, things of that nature. So, when I have things like that that I've gotten in, I'll show them to him and he can kind of figure out like what he wants from it. And then he offers with things that he has for trade. So he'll find things out in the wild that aren't um, those things, like the Super Nintendo and whatnot that I listed before. But he'll use those like for trade fodder to get the things that he wants. So I did a trade with him. He gave me some cash too. But the uh, one item that I traded for him was this here, which is Billy Hatcher the, and the Giant Egg, which is uh, pretty neat. And it's complete. So that's pretty cool. I tested it out and it does work. Um, one small problem, I'm trying to find where it is right here, uh, right by this finger right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, you probably can barely make it out, but there's like a few almost like really deep cracks in it. I don't really know if you can call it that, but um, I tested it out and it seemed to work perfectly fine, so I'm not sure if that's going to be like an issue later on in the gameplay. I hope it isn't, but still, um, cool nonetheless, and if I have to replace the disc at some point. I might just have to replace the disc at some point, but that's the way that goes. So I did test it out, like I said though, and it worked for at least 20 minutes, and then I had to move on with in life kind of thing, so i um, happy to get that though for the collection. And then something they threw in was uh, Tomb Raider 2, which uh, just has a small little crack in here, but as you can see, this is factory sealed, so pretty cool, like the little extra throw in. Um, you know, nothing overly epically valuable, but I didn't ask for it, and he threw it in there, so it was really nice. And then 
uh, moving on, I'll get into things that I got uh, probably a little more recently. The last thing I'll show you, I can't remember if I um, showed it in a video or whatever before, so I'm going to show it to you again, but if it is, I'll show it to you again. So here we go. Uh, the first thing, though, I know I haven't shown you yet is this here. It's Disney Extreme Skate Adventure, and this was uh, $3.99 from Value Village and it's complete. This is actually a reasonably priced uh, Disney game that's for sure and the disc is well not perfect but it's got like some smudges and stuff on it. Definitely better than the one that I have already. I actually found this game um, at a garage sale not too long ago and it was loose disc and whatnot but I still picked it up and now I have it complete so that's pretty sweet right there. And moving on, I actually went into a Goodwill and found some things, which is really nice because it's been pretty dry out there lately. Uh, first one here is unfortunately free. It's Crash Team Racing, and the unfortunate part about it is you probably guessed it. Um, someone has taken the disc out of it or it wasn't in there in the first place, but the case is in great shape and the artwork's in great shape, so it's just a matter of uh, teaming that up with you know, a disc in the future. Now here's the thing, um, I've been thinking about this, I have a lot of like empty uh, cases like this, I also have a bunch of games that don't have cases, and so I was wondering and throwing around the idea of you know just starting up like a one for one value wise uh, trade, that if you have like a case or a game, you kind of figure out a deal for putting them all together because uh, it's really nice to team these things up when you can, but you know, whatever kind of works out. But just finding games that are like of equal value with, with their cases and whatnot, and then doing trades whereby um, people would be able to complete uh, games that they have that are loose. So I don't know if you like that idea. Let me know how you think that would work or whatnot. I would basically just be like, you know, when you're doing a trade with somebody, you'd have to find two games of equal value that you have a disc and they have a. So it might be kind of hard to do, but you never know. Uh, the next part here is one that is complete, which is Namco Museum 3. I didn't have this in my collection, so really nice to find another uh, PS1 title. There it is right there. And the disc on this guy is like pretty mint. Actually, just got some fingerprints on it, which I'll be able to get off of there, no problem. Um, really cool title here, you know, Galaxian, uh, Miss Pac-Man, Pole Position 2. There's Dig Dug and a couple others on there. Uh, those are the ones that I'm really familiar with. Dig Dug, obviously, I loved that back in the day, and obviously Miss Pac-Man is an absolute classic so really cool to add this one into the collection kinda interesting that Galaxian's on there obviously this would be the arcade part that's on here but uh, the last thing that I'm going to show you today actually has this on it as well so kinda neat and then moving on I also picked up um, four PS2 titles at the same this time this one here was three and it's uh, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex this is total trade fodder for me because I already have this game but still a decent find, I think, for three bucks. And the disc on it's in pretty decent shape, actually. It's not too bad. Maybe a few small scuffs on there, but nothing major. And, you know, pretty good find, I think. Moving on from there, I also at the same time picked up Armored Core Last Raven. And again, that was the same price of $3. Totally complete. Uh, the PS2 stuff that I got to, uh, the other day, rather, is in pretty decent shape. Just needs a clean because it's dusty. But uh, there you go, like this is pretty near perfect on that. Don't know a whole lot about Armored Core series, actually, to tell you the honest truth. Never really, not really like a, a huge mech guy, never really was, so I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to this. I'll probably just trade this off and hopefully get something nice for myself. Um, you know, probably more cartridge base, that's really what I'm looking for. And then Dragon Ball Z Budokai Den Tenkaichi, I don't know how to say all this. Tenkaichi, <laughs> sir. Um, Pick that one up as well at the same time. That one's also complete in really nice shape. So, disc on it, again, just needs to be cleaned. Fairly certain, yeah. It's all just dust on it, otherwise it's like really mint. So, pretty good find, I think, right there. It's a, a fighter, if you're not aware of it. So some of the uh, Budokai Tenchaiachi, or Tenkaichi games uh, tend to have a little bit of value. This one here, I don't think as much, but still, um, pretty decent find and that's going to probably be trading fodder because I'm not totally interested in that series necessarily. And then the last one here is Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition. And it has the uh, dust sleeve on it which is really nice. 
as well. The game, you know, inside's in excellent shape just because it had that sleeve on it probably forever. And also, um, complete disc on it, really nice. So, uh, really decent title to find, that's for sure, for the PS2. Again, I'm wondering if I'm going to hold on to these PS2 things, though. Um, I do have a pretty good collection, but a lot of that collection, there's stuff that I really want to play. Don't know if I'm wanting to play a car racing game on the PS2, but still fairly valuable game, so I might um, trade that off and hopefully get something nice for myself. Uh, those were the things I found from the thrift shops. Now, the second to last thing I'm going to show you here is actually a pickup that um, Wifey Retro basically did today for me, which is really nice. Um, she found this ad in one of like her mom groups kind of thing on Facebook. Really cool, works out for me because you know people aren't necessarily on those sites all the time that are collecting video games, so kind of good for me sometimes when she finds these things. But she picked up uh, Pokemon White and Pokemon Black uh, for five dollars each, which I think is a really good deal for those two. Um, again, I'm not a Pokemon person, so I'll probably end up you know selling those off or trading them off, but still for ten bucks for the two of them. A uh, really nice find, I think. Unfortunately, no cases or anything, but hey, you know, what are you going to do about that? The last thing I'm going to show you here, actually, is a Famicom clone system, and I cannot recall for the life of me if I've shown this to you before. I kind of found it sitting um, in a bag, like, near this stuff, and trying to keep it all straight it doesn't totally uh, work out, and I sort of moved some things around, so I can't remember if I actually showed you this. If I didn't, if I did, then, you know, forgive me if I haven't, then here it is. So here it is right here, it's a Game in One system, or Game in Champ system rather. Uh, what this is, a Famiclone system. Came with these two controllers. They're really kind of like tiny uh, controllers, don't really know a whole lot about it. But here's the cartridge, this is what I was really after, uh, the cartridge for this one. Uh, the whole thing all together cost me five bucks. But I'll show you, um, I'll show you this up close. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of all these Famiclone uh, cartridges so there's this one right here and uh, for this one here there's I think it was seven games on it I'll show you some gameplay of it because I'm gonna go through like all the different games on it just because there's only seven of them but still uh, cool nonetheless you know I like to get these and for five bucks I thought I would so here's some gameplay of this all right so here it is here the uh, game and champ let's just fire this baby up no lights on it but uh, seems to go perfectly fine there this, uh, I guess it's the other controller. I got both of them plugged in, so player one controller. You can see, like, goes all the way up, but it's just repetition um, over and over again. This thing probably came with a light gun because it has, like, duck hunt and whatnot on it, but get back to the uh, first screen here. So, first one's Star Force. Looks kind of cool already. Kind of a fun little shooter here. I don't miss whatever that was. Oh. Alright. Let's try the next one here. Galaxian. This, um, I don't think was actually released on the NES. This one here. Also has turbo. Kind of nice. You get the idea. So far, two two of them are pretty good. This is tank. No idea what I'm doing here. Probably trying to protect something, maybe.
All right. Pretty cool game. Well, I won't be able to do much with this, I don't think. If I'm... Oh, that's a glitch. Try that again. Don't know what happened there, but... Seems to be fine now. Obviously, you can't do anything without throwing a light gun, but still. title, but that's kind of neat. change gears, all right. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Right. Uh, and it goes back to Galaxian. So I think that's basically where it starts cycling around. Galaxian deck, see it goes back around Star Force. So I'm seeing all the same titles now. Tank, Macross, yeah, so it's basically got those seven titles on it. Um, some pretty stellar ones right there. I think those two look like fun. Macross looks pretty fun too. So not a bad find, I think, for five bucks. So that's everything that I picked up recently. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Sorry about like the extra length of time that this took. Just uh, explaining part of the you know, collection changes over here and uh, showing the gameplay footage and stuff like that. So hopefully it stuck through the, to the end. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.